Disclaimer, crypto investments are highly speculative and involve significant risk of loss. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Always do your own research and invest wisely. Is this crypto bull run a super cycle? Yes, and EOS could be the crypto MVP. First off let me start off by saying this is an opinion piece, and so any statement made in this article is just my opinion, and not financial advice. The crypto bull run continues to move forward, and the inevitable market retracements occur at periodic stages, which can cause some of the least experienced crypto investors to take pause and wonder, if the current crypto market, is even in a bull run, is it possible that this is all just one big, elaborate bull trap? I'm writing this article to give you my opinions why I believe that not only are we in a crypto bull market, but I would even have to go a step further and would say that I personally believe that we are likely at the beginning of a crypto super cycle, and the EOS blockchain as undervalued as it is, could prove when all is said and done to be the MVP of this crypto bull cycle. Okay now let's get started. I am not a technical analysis trader, and as I have often stated in my past work, I see myself as more of a crypto investor, investing for the medium to long term, which I define as 5 to 10 years. But one significant piece of information that is impossible to ignore, whether you are a long term investor, or an active crypto trader, and that is the amount of institutional interest, that is involved in crypto this go around. It seems that the whole entire crypto industry has garnered allies such as Michael Saylor and Elon Musk of all people, which I don't have to tell you that this has never happened before, despite all of the unfavorable institutional financial news. Yet, it has not seemed to matter for many of the arguably forward-thinking companies out there, and I'm sure I don't have to tell you how incredibly exciting this is considering that only a few short years ago, mainstream financial news was writing yet another Bitcoin eulogy, that Bitcoin was dead, and how the poor investors that invested in Bitcoin lost significant financial capital, which is interesting to me, because since when has Wall Street ever cared about the little guy losing too much financial capital, as long as that capital loss, benefited big entrenched institutions in Wall Street hedge funds. The recent incident with Wall Street bets especially proves this point in particular, this last incident exposed the hypocrisy of many traditional entrenched financial institutions, in a way that nothing else could have in the past, which in my opinion, points to the need for a decentralized financial settlement layer, that will level the playing field for all parties involved. And this, is one of the reasons why crypto exists in the first place, nearly 10 years ago, Satoshi Nakamoto created Bitcoin, after the 2008 housing market correction, and now as time has gone by, the financial institutions and government regulators, have seemed to not have learned any significant lesson from the past, and continue to do the same things expecting a different result, where I am from, we call that, insanity. And as more and more people began to wake up, to the fact that the entrenched financial institutions, and big government regulators, do not have the interest of the common investors in mind, when making their decisions, more and more people are beginning to desire a better, and more fair way of doing things, which is why crypto is outperforming all its counterparts whether in the stock market or in the precious metals market. The likely collapse of the US dollar will probably be one of the most significant catalysts to, why a super cycle is likely to happen. I know this part will probably scare some people, but it ultimately has to be said, we're likely in a dollar bubble, and the significance of this is the nature of a bubble is ultimately to pop eventually, as we have seen the US government enacting more desperate, and unprecedented money creation policies such as stimulus. We are fast approaching, the point of no return, where it will no longer be possible to correct the current path. This is becoming increasingly clearer, as we have seen the recent all-time highs of the traditional stock market, mostly regarding tech stocks. Yet, there was no real reason why the valuation of these stocks increased to such an extreme extent, and as things begin to approach their apex, we are beginning to see more and more odd occurrences of this type. These are all in my opinion, clearly signs of an unhealthy economy, and I have even read reports that the Federal Reserve intends to use this as a method to supposedly stabilize the economy in perpetuity. This is obviously scary for many different reasons, but the most significant is, we are clearly abandoning any semblance of sound money, and with global central banks of the world, now beginning to promote new terminology, such as the Great Reset it is becoming clear to me that they have no intention of trying to correct this ship, but instead, plan on picking up the pieces after the ship has metaphorically run aground. This more than anything, 
is why I believe that more and more people are beginning to take cryptocurrencies much more seriously than they did in the past, because to state it plainly, there are truly no other alternatives. And yes, I know, some gold bugs might say physical gold and silver is the way to go, but unfortunately, with all the paper gold derivatives floating around on the open market, likely suppressing upward price momentum, it's pretty clear that gold and silver will not be as much of a safe haven this go around, as it was in the past. The problem with gold and silver, is it relies inherently on a trusted third party system, to authenticate, whether the supposed precious metal that an individual holds is legitimate. I am reminded of an article I read not too long ago about one of China's largest third party gold custodians, King Gold. To make a long story short, it was found out that King Gold's holdings were overwhelmingly made up of gold foil plated copper bullion, and this is the problem with holding precious metal derivatives, or even holding physical precious metals, the average common user has no real way to verify the quality of the precious metals that he or she holds, and I know that some would say that there are metal spectrometer tests, that can test the purity, but realistically how many normal people have access to those type of extreme testing measures, it is just simply not realistic to expect, someone who holds a couple of ounces of precious metals, in his or her safe, to have done that kind of extreme metal purity testing, of their holdings, which is why crypto will continue to have the advantage over physical precious metals, and unfortunately, as time goes on this will likely only continue to get worse, as more and more people become desperate, to find ways to protect their life savings, from these encroaching economic forces, and crypto potentially offers that protection, that many people, are looking for, and will be looking for in the years to come, and programmable cryptos like EOS, can offer unique solutions, for many of the incoming new investors, that are similar to, the options that they are accustomed to in the traditional financial investment world, decentralized finance will be able to duplicate those solutions as well as offer new and unique services, combined with still giving the user the freedom to choose their level of centralized slash decentralized risk, and this is the world that cryptos like EOS will help usher in, because of everything that is happening, therefore, I believe that not only is crypto in a bull cycle, but we are ultimately likely to receive far more attention, from the world's population than any of us originally realized, the general world's population will likely come running into crypto as a means of financial salvation, which is why I ultimately believe this is likely going to lead to a super cycle event, which means that crypto will likely outperform most of our wildest expectations by a significant margin, but ultimately only time will tell. To all EOS holders, stay the course. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please donate, and if you would like to read, listen to, or watch more of this kind of content, please visit us at www.cryptoapologetics.com. See you next time, take care.